Commissioner Justin Gosh. Uh, I call this press conference today, September 23rd. It's a sad day in the CFO, but a great and beautiful day for Catholics all over the world. I call this press conference to announce the retirement of a well respected athlete. In the CFL. Please, without further ado, everyone stand up and welcome wide receiver cornerback Simon Asaka to the board. Yes, uh, Perry Nelson. 
from the Washington Post. And um, I want to know, um, has a replacement been found for Mr. Osaki? You know, as of now, uh, you know, I've been talking to the captains of the team, the other captain of the team, the Purple League leaders. We're still reflecting on and trying to, uh, to help Simon and his family through this retirement. Um, but for the sake of the CFL, yes, we do have players that are more than willing to play and more than capable. Um, and we hope to uh, come with agreement soon. And it's mostly for the PPE, not not me per se, because it's his, it's his team, their team that they, he left. But I hope you know the captain of the team is already looking for a replacement and will come to me and will we'll come with agreement on who's going to take his spot. Yeah. Uh, this one's for Mr. Otaki. Uh, I'm Jeff Green from the New York Times, and um, I would like to know. Uh, are you cutting all ties from the league, or will you still be available for subbing? Oh no, not at all. I will not be cutting my ties with the league. As I said uh, in my previous speech, um, I'm just retiring as a full-time player of this league. I'll, I, I already told uh, the commissioner Justin Ghosh that anytime any of the teams, preferably uh, PPE, need a sub, I'll, I'll be right there, you know, so I'm, I'll always be here, you know, ready to play on any given Sunday. Any other questions? Alright, so that's it for today's press conference. Um, thank you for your time. Let's go, let's go. Mr. the balls, get the balls. Balls. Uh, yeah, sure, make a creep out. Got something to do in the showers. Um, how do you feel about the retirement of the wide receiver, Simon Asaki? Actually, this is the first time hearing about it. You know, I was in practice all day. But, um, you know, it's just something, I guess, a decision he made that he thinks is better for him and his family and for his faith. And, you know, you got to respect that. You know, it's not, it's not much we can do. I mean, we'd love to have him out there. You know, he brings a good competition. For for the peaches and cream team, but uh, you know we're still gonna we still, we just gotta go with the flow. You know what I mean? Do you think this would affect anything this Sunday in the game? Uh, not for us. We're still gonna do what we do. You know, we still got that zone. Um, we we actually uh, we actually had a meeting yesterday. We came up with a few new defenses that we're gonna run regardless with Simon Saki there or not. And uh, whoever his replacement is, you know, we're just we're just gonna roll with the punches. And um, you know, we we came off a bad week last week, had our first loss, but. That's because I wasn't there, so you know we're we're gonna we're gonna try. We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing, and Pigeons Cream is gonna win once again. All right, thanks. All right, thank you, man. Dang it, man! I got in the shower tonight. Next week, let's go. Come on, let's get right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. How do you guys feel about the retirement of wide receiver Simon Asaki? What? Hey, hey. Would have I ever cared about football? Why are you asking me the no questions? What's going on over there? I don't know, man. Some stupid.